Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. Y'all, it's still Friday. Happy Friday, happy weekend. It's coming, we are here you guys. I am hoping you guys are enjoying this day. Weather is beautiful, it is a little humid, but it is good, okay? <laughs> Um, just wanted to come on you guys to show you some basket concepts that I am working on. Um, I am working on, I, I don't want to say all large baskets, inexpensive baskets, y'all. I'm just designing, okay? I am just in a mode. So um, I have signed up for some fall festivals, but not just um, designing for my fall festivals. I am designing for Christmas birthdays, anniversaries, whatever may come down the pipeline, I am designing for. I'm definitely adding more products to my website as well. So um, a lot of items have sold on my website. So I'm just kind of replenishing those as well. So I'm just in a festive designing mood, okay? <laughs> so um, I am definitely using a lot of these totes, um, these baskets, that we got from the family dollar. It's been about maybe two, maybe three weeks now. So I am just trying to get rid of some of these. Um, no, let me stop. I'm not trying to get rid of it. I'm just trying to use my mind, use my brain to come up with different concepts so that I can show you all what you can use and what you can do with these baskets and these totes. So let me start right here with this one. Now, I already did one previously using this gray and uh ivory basket i think this is a cute basket um even if you did not want to um design a basket if you want this at your house you know you all can put some uh some books in here if you like me um sometimes you know i have my throws i have my books and you know i have them in my living room which is the place where i go kind of really to relax but i guess i could um put my um uh, my blanket in here, my books, you know, my little snacks or whatever that I have. And I can just put this down, right down beside my um, sofa. You know, I mean, it's, it's really decorative as well. So, you you know, there's a lot of ways you can use these baskets for, okay? So, this is one of the oblong storage baskets. They were originally $7. Um, I think we got these for, some people got them for $0.50. Cent, some people got them for a dollar. So um, I think they are nice quality um, baskets. Now, um, as you all can see in here, it has the stitching in here, the gray stitching um, that's entwined in the uh, white part of the basket. So I think that's pretty nice and decorative. Now they are flimsy, okay? Y'all can see I'm just doing this. They are flimsy. So what you're going to have to do to make sure you keep the shape, you're gonna to have to pack it very well, okay? Um, if you wanted to put some contract paper, I mean, excuse me, a piece of cardboard paper at the bottom, that would be great. Um, you can use that contract paper or a newspaper. But just make sure that you put enough in here so that it will keep the shape of the basket, okay? So I've already put together a small concept right here using a, one of these baskets, totes, whatever you want to call them today. So let me show you all. Now, I have packed it with some of the um, contract paper as well as put my tissue paper on top like I always do. Um, now, I did not fill it all the way up. It might be to here that the contract paper is because I have this blanket. Now, on this blanket, what I did is I stuffed the majority of the blanket inside of the tote. So that would give you that extra... Um, for, um, sturdiness so you can keep the form of your basket okay so let me just show you guys what I've come up with so far here now um, we've got these picture frames from the Dollar General and let me oh, I thought I had it with me let me come back I'm sorry oh together you guys before I do my video but unfortunately I didn't so please forgive me so these pictures we got from the uh, picture frames from the Dollar General um, and I think they were on the green dot 
I didn't pay five dollars for this you guys i think these had pennied out so they came in the brown frame as well as the blue frame so i'm using pretty much in my stockpile you guys as i was telling you guys i'm trying not to buy anything else because only the things that i really needed so i'm just trying to get rid of some things here so let me show you guys so i got the picture frame on the back here okay tucked down into the basket this big tumbler um, I got from Family Dollar. Now, they still have some in the stores. They were originally $3, you guys. But I got mine. It was on the clearance aisle for $1.50. And it came in the uh, pink, the blue, and the white, okay? So I've got one of these perfume bottles. It's a blue bottle that you can get from the uh, Dollar Tree. Um, so I thought that'd be kind of something, you know, feminine and, and kind of, luxury item that's in the basket even though it was a dollar 25 it still looks pretty expensive okay got some bath and body works products here um it's the sea island shore the body cream and the uh body uh wash here exfoliating um gloves that i got from ollie's um i got the prayer cards now the prayer cards are at the dollar tree okay they come in different patterns so um, I just got this kind of that will match with the blue thing going on here. These candles um, we got from the Dollar General. Um, I'm not sure what sale that was, but I ended up just putting a ribbon on top of here around it so it can look kind of a little festive. Got the loofahs from the Dollar um, Tree. And also I've got an embellished um, rose that I got from Timu. So this is how it's looking so far, and my um, turntable is a little wobbly, but that's how it's looking so far, okay? So um, I am going to wrap this in one of my cello bags. These bags I get, I get always, mm, that's ghetto, I got from <laughs> Amazon, and these are the 24 by 30. So, um, and these are the cello bags. They're not the shrink wrap bags. So let me put this in here right quick. And usually, you guys, I have it already in the bag before I do this on camera. For time's sake, but we're going to work this out today just like this. And I did add some um, blue shred, you guys, to the um, basket as well to fill in where it had that uh, my tissue paper in there. So that's a little crooked, so let me fix it this way. things in there. Stick them down before I decide to close this thing up. And I've got my zip ties here and I'm going to Use one of these larges. Now, I get my zip ties. I just pick them up at the Dollar Tree. I know some people get them from um, Amazon, but while I'm in the Dollar Tree, you guys, it's just like the tape or the zip ties. I just pick them up and keep it moving. Um, even my pipe pen is when I remember going down the, that aisle to get, it, get them. Now, I might be able to craft out, and I see the um, other things, and I will bypass my pipe cleaners. And once I get home, I'm like, dog, Eileen. You went to get pipe cleaners, but you picked up everything but pipe cleaners. So, let me make sure I get this one. Uh, let me fix that because I got my top of my the straw. But 
in there and I don't want it to look like that. So let me do that right quick. And if that happens, if you can always cut the um, pipe cleaner and just open it up again and put another one on there. And that's a good thing about doing a Frank, uh, excuse me, a cello bag. It's easier to open up and redo than a shrink wrap because once you open up the shrink wrap bag, you know, you have to discard it. So we try to be good stewards in the things that we have. But if you have to um, open it up, it's okay, you know, but I'm thinking that to me right now, the cellar bags are, are my best bet right now for what I am working on. Not to say I will not shrink wrap some things, because I got one that I'm working on, I worked on this morning that I did shrink wrap it. And so it just depends on your preference. Um, but I'm, I'm trying something new, I'm trying to go all cellar right now, so. We'll see how that goes. It could change like the wind. It changes. So I always try to trim it down so that it all will be evened out. Um, this bow right here I made from um, ribbon that I got from Sam's. I think this um, blue, solid blue with the glitter on it, I think I got that during the Christmas time at Sam's. And I just got the blue floral the other the other month when all Sam's ribbons went down to little or nothing. So um, that's how I designed this bow using my bow dabra. All of you all know that's my little tool that I use. So even though the, the tote is gray and um, white, you don't have to make the items in the tote gray or white. You can use other colors that will bring out the tote color. Okay, here we go, you guys. What you think? My bow's cricket. <laughs> okay there we go so what do y'all think about that is that something that you all can put together real easy not hard that I'm using these totes very uh, nice basket i wouldn't say it's a luxury luxury a big expensive basket but i think it would be pretty nice for someone to see something like this uh, because it has the well it might be a little price i wouldn't say high but you got bath and body works products in there so when you're pricing your basket just because you might got some of the items at a discount the bath and body works i will definitely put those prices in consideration when I am pricing this basket. Say for instance, each Bath & Body Work product was $15. I, I'm not sure, I didn't. I don't forget how much I paid for them. But that's $30 right there because of the Bath & Body Work products. And then I add all the other items in there, you know, so this might be a $50, $65 basket, $60, $65, it just depends. I'm not quoting any prices. I'm not pricing anything right now. I'm just saying whenever you all are pricing, if you have Bath and Body Works, Victoria Secret items and stuff, you, um, how can I put this? Use consideration in those, in pricing using those items. Um, what you pay for the retail items, even though you might get them for a, the uh, Bath, and Bath, Bath and Body Works had a sale going on recently. But if, if you pay $3 for it, but the original price was $20, you charge $20, okay? Um, that's just one um, little nugget right there. But you guys, let me know what you think about this concept with this ivory and great tote. 
You don't have to use the ivory and gray theme all the time. You can add other colors like I did the blue. Even though this uh, blanket is blue and white, it still blends in with everything else that I have in my basket, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share, comment. If you have not subscribed, please do because I am putting out some more baskets. Um, today, I am excited about um, next week starts Christmas in July. I have some baskets that I want to show y'all now, but I have to wait till July. Now, I don't know. I might get antsy and show you guys today. <laughs> but I, I love to design. I just come up with different concepts, and I think this will work very well for um, these upcoming uh, festivals that I will be doing. So thank you for watching again. Have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.